the 15th of August 2018. FBI agent John L. Hauser interviews Nicholas Thayer. Nicholas Thayer, hereafter referred to as Nick, was interviewed at his residence. After being advised of the identity of the interviewing agent and the nature of the interview, Nick provided the following information. Nick is employed as a media director for Prob Incorporated. Nick obtained a high school diploma. Nick's wife Amanda Thayer, hereafter referred to as Amanda, and Shannon Watts, set up a playdate for the kids in approximately April 2017. Nick met Chris Watts at that playdate at the park in Frederick. That summer, the Thayers saw them almost every weekend at each other's homes and going out to dinner. In the fall of 2017, Chris started getting into running. Nick and Chris ran at times through the winter on weekends. Chris said he was working out at the Frederick Recreation Center. They didn't share much personal talk. Chris was self-contained and didn't offer much. Nick was also friends with Shanann. They all got along. Nick and Chris mostly communicated through texting about going for runs, sports in general, or making plans for the weekends. There were not many phone calls. Nick and Amanda moved to Thornton in June 2018. The Thayers saw Shanann and Chris less. Shanann and the kids went to North Carolina for six weeks in June 2018. Chris joined them in North Carolina during their last week there, and they all flew back together. Nick and Amanda saw Chris on the 4th of July at the fireworks show in Thornton. Nick asked Chris a question along the lines of, what's it like to be a bachelor? Chris responded that it was weird being in an empty home, and that he was working out all the time. Chris said that Shanann got upset because he missed one of her phone calls. Chris added that any time he's working out, he runs upstairs when she calls, and he hides that he's doing stuff without Shanann and the girls. Nick had no other indication from Chris about the status of their relationship other than those examples. Nick thought that perhaps Shanann and Chris were married in 2012. Nick stated that he and Chris didn't see each other much and didn't talk much, however, they both signed up for a running race in September 2018. Chris sent Nick a text message photograph of his race shirt and bib number. The two exchanged a few texts regarding the upcoming race. When Chris and Shanann got back from North Carolina, Shanann and Amanda talked for about 45 minutes. Amanda told Nick that Chris and Shanann weren't doing well in their marriage. Amanda asked if Nick saw the post Shanann made about Celeste in North Carolina. To which Nick said he had. Nick and Amanda thought maybe that issue was part of the problem. Nick was aware that Shanann didn't get along with Chris's parents. Nick received a text from Amanda while he was at work. Amanda told him that Shanann wanted them to watch the kids while Shanann and Chris went away for the weekend of 17 August 2018. Nick said okay. Nick and Amanda got back from their Kentucky trip on Monday, 13 August 2018 around 3 or 4 p.m. Nick texted Chris to see if Chris wanted to do some more runs, before the September run. Nick provided the following texts from his cell phone. Monday 4.07 p.m. Hey man. We just got back into town. When can you run? Chris responded, not sure man. I can't find Shanann or the kids. Haven't heard from them all day. Cops are here. I will keep you posted. Nick responded, whoa. What? That is crazy man. Is there anything I can do? Chris responded, I don't know man. It's very odd right now. Nick responded, we can head up there. Bring you some food. We are here for you. Nick and Amanda went to Chris's house and rang the bell. Chris answered the door. In describing Chris's appearance, Nick stated, it wasn't Chris. Nick stated that Chris appeared different, overwhelmed, like, what is going on? At that point, the cops were gone. Nick, Amanda, and Chris stood inside by the front door. Nick and Amanda were asking Chris questions about what happened, but Nick could not remember exactly what they asked. Chris told Nick and Amanda the following. Shanann and Chris were having marital issues. 
Nick stated that Amanda spoke up and said that Shanann had told her about the marital issues. That morning when Chris woke up for work, he told Shanann that he wanted to separate. Chris told her before he went to work because he wanted to tell her in person rather than by text or phone. Chris left for work. Nick stated Chris did not comment on how Shanann was doing when he left. When Chris was at work, Nicole Utoft began texting him that she couldn't get a hold of Shanann. And that Nicole was at their house. Chris headed for home. On the way, he called the girls' school. He was told they hadn't checked in. Chris told the school to keep the girls on the wait list. When Chris got home, the cops were there and did a walk around. The cops came back with a warrant for a more in-depth search. The cops offered Chris a chance to walk around and search with them but he said he'd wait outside. Nick, Amanda and Chris continued talking at the kitchen table. Chris continued. Chris said the cops took Shanann's cell phone. The neighbors showed the cops the security footage of him loading up his truck and leaving that morning, but the footage showed nothing after Tart. The video doorbell didn't show anything. Chris saw a credit card charge for a taxi cab, but didn't know anything else about it. Chris didn't know what to think or do. Nick stated that while the three of them were brainstorming about what they could be doing, Chris stated, Do I walk out into the field to look for someone? Nick stated that Chris made no comments about the fact that Shanann was gone. But all her stuff was still there. When Amanda mentioned Shanann's items that were still in the house, Chris confirmed those items as being her phone, purse, wallet, wedding ring, car, car seats, and the kids' medicine. Based on all those items being left behind, Chris indicated that he thought Shanann just left. Nick stated that Chris was in the process of calling and texting Shanann's friends. Amanda said she heard about a potential Amber Alert. Chris said he had been contacting emergency rooms before Nick and Amanda arrived. Nick stated that Chris seemed like he was just trying to process everything. He put his head down a lot. He didn't know what to do. Chris told Nick he didn't want to talk to the news media because they might pry and turn his words around. Chris knew how it would look and he would be public enemy number one. Nick stated, he was worried about that. Amanda invited Chris to stay at the Thayer's house. Chris said he wouldn't that night, but he would the next night. Amanda and Chris went home around 7 or 8 p.m. When they got home, they texted Chris at 9.33 p.m. They told Chris they had stopped at McDonald's and the gas station at I-25 and Highway 52 to see if anyone there saw anything. Chris responded at 9.43 p.m., stating, Thanks man. On Tuesday morning, the 14th of August 2018, Nick texted Chris to see if he was going to work. Chris said he didn't get much sleep and was going to stay home. Nick and Amanda took their daughter to school. Nick texted Chris at 8.30 a.m. to ask if he'd heard anything from the police. Chris responded, nothing yet. The two texted back and forth briefly. Nick and Amanda drove to Chris's house. On the way there, the news media started contacting them. When they arrived at Chris's house, they found Chris to be tired. Not himself, and overwhelmed. The three sat at the kitchen table. They talked about the possibility of Nick and Amanda talking to the media about the media talking to Chris. During the afternoon on Tuesday, Nick overheard a telephone call between Chris and either his mother or Shanann's mother. Chris made a comment along the lines of, the longer this goes on, the more I worry that they might be hurt or in danger. Chris stated that he had received a text from a realtor on Monday night. Chris told Nick and Amanda that he and Shanann had talked about putting the house on the market. The house was too big and too much of a financial burden, and they wanted to downgrade. Chris said he wasn't sure if that is what made Shanann mad at him, although Chris hadn't talked about Shanann being mad before that moment. Chris was wondering if that's what started all this. Chris made no mention about having any girlfriends. Nick and Amanda left Chris's house just before 4 p.m. in order to pick up their daughter from school. They offered to have Chris stay at their house that night. Chris agreed to it. Chris said he would be over in a little bit. When Nick and Amanda arrived at their home, 
Nick called Chris. Chris said he was coming over. Chris called Nick about 10 minutes later and said that Fox News was still in his front yard. Chris was concerned about how it would look if he was seen leaving his house with a bag of clothes. At around 6.20 p.m., Nick texted Chris again. Chris said he was just leaving his house. Approximately 20 minutes later, Chris called. He told Nick that Frederick Police Department wanted him to come to talk to an FBI agent. Nick responded via text stating that he and Amanda would go there and offer support. Chris responded, Thanks man. Nick and Amanda went to the Frederick Police Department. Chris came out around 11 p.m. Chris gave a brief summary of the interview, but they all decided to talk more once they got home. At the house, Chris said the interview was intense. He stated it was like being interviewed by three people, all by one person. He stated they had his phone and asked him all about stuff in his phone. They asked him about his weight loss, and who is she? They would disappear for 15 minutes and would start over when they came back. He was getting the same questions in a different form. He was grilled, and asked, so why did you do it? At the end of the interview, the agent told him he did a good job. Nick told Chris he had been texting with a private investigator friend. Nick gave Chris some lawyer contact information upon the advice of the private investigator. Chris was appreciative, and went to bed. Chris said he was planning on going to work until his dad arrived. On Wednesday, the 15th of August 2018, Chris told Nick that his work told him not to come in. Chris left the house at 9.30am to go get his dad from the airport. Nick and Amanda went to work. Nick stated that he found it strange that Chris didn't know if Shanann had her Apple Watch since it wasn't in the charger. Nick knew that Shanann always wore her Apple Watch and always had her phone with her. Chris never made other comments, over time, about whether Shanann slept while wearing her Apple Watch. Nick stated that he would preserve all his calls and text data.